This is 2022 KCSE Mathematics Paper 1 and this is question 1. This section consists of 50 marks uh, up to number 16 uh, with the questions ranging from 1 uh, to, to three, 1 to 3 marks. Uh, so we are instructed to answer all the questions in the spaces uh, provided. Uh, so we have question number 1. We have so for N. 6n over n over n over n minus 1 is equal to 25 divided by n. Now, for us to be able to do this, we need to cross multiply there. Uh, so, when you cross multiply, you will be able to 6 multiply by n, 6n, that will give us 6n squared, uh, is equal to 25 multiplied by n minus 1. So, this will give us 25 n, we multiply 25 times n minus 25 times minus uh, 1, that will give us minus 25. Uh, so we take 25 n and 20 minus 25 to the other side, 25 n becomes uh, minus, so we have 6 n squared minus 25 n. Uh, this becomes positive once it crosses the equal sign, 25 and it equals to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. Uh, so we check whether it can be able to solve uh, using the factorization method. We check the first coefficient of n squared is 6. We multiply 6 multiplied by uh, 25. That will give us uh, 150. 150, we get two numbers. A multiplied by B should give us 150. And a plus uh, b should give us uh, this coefficient of n, which is 25. So the two numbers we can say is uh, minus 15 uh, and uh, minus 10. Uh, when you multiply minus 10, minus 15 times minus 10, that will give us positive 150, because minus and minus is positive when you multiply. And when you add minus, this should give us to minus 25, minus 15. Ma min plus minus 15 that will give us minus 25 so we use, use these two numbers to modify our quadratic equation so we have 6n squared uh, instead of 20 minus 25 we write 15n minus 10n uh, then we say plus 25 uh, is equals to 0 so we factor out what is common here and what is common is 3n uh, so here we will be left with 2n and here we will be left with minus 5. Uh, we factor out what is common here. We can factor minus 5. So here we will be left with 2n minus 5 is equal to 0. We can separate here. Uh, so we say 2n minus 5 and we have the other factor is 3n minus 5 is equals to 0. So this will give us, it means that uh, 2n minus 5 is equals to 0 or 3n minus 5 is equals to 0. Uh, so n, 2n is equals to 5 or 3n is equals to 5. Divide both sides by 2 n is equals to 5 divided by 2 uh, which is equal to 2 and a half uh, or we take uh, we divide by 3 so n is equals to 5 over 3 which is equals to uh, 1 and 2 over 3 so that is how you work out that question uh, in terms of max distribution uh, you get one mark for getting the quadratic equation so you get one mark there you get one mark for factorizing, you get another mark, and another mark, a mark, a, a, a mark for the two answers. So that will give us one mark, and it will total to three marks. So that's how you work out that, and you'll be able to score three marks.